Hello, Marcelina. Getting hungry. It's time for lunch. And in just a few seconds, the Cortana reminder is going to pop up. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do this. Add voice reminders with Cortana reminders. And there we go. Hi, my name is Paul Jones. I'm going to show you how to set up a voice reminder uh, in conjunction with Cortana. Uh, I'm using a third-party program I found online uh, called voice.exe from elifolkerson.com. So thank you, Eli. Um, basically, what this thing does is it allows you to do some voice text from a command line. And I'm using the Windows scheduler to do this. Uh, so I'm going to have it read some text and then um, pop up a reminder in Cortana. So I'll show you what I've done here. If I click on the type to search or um, Cortana box, uh, my mom's name is Marcelina. If I click on this little box here, this will show you what I've got set up so far. If I go to reminders, I've got to go to breakfast recurring every day at nine o'clock. I've added pictures to it so when it pops up on the screen, it's something that's visual and she'll see. Uh, it's time for lunch at uh, 12 o'clock and then at five o'clock p.m. dinner is served. So uh, I'm gonna add some voice reminders to those. So I've already got those set up, so I'll kind of show you how I've done that. Uh, I'll show you how to quickly add a reminder and then we'll have it pop up during our little demonstration here. So I'm gonna add a new reminder that'll show up at 1.0 three. Hey Cortana, remind me at 1.03 p.m. All right, what do you want to be reminded about? Show me this message on the screen. I can remind you to show me this message on the screen at 1.03 p.m. today. Sounds good? Yes. Then you just close this with the X. And there we go. Our reminder popped up on the screen, but there's no verbal. It's just kind of a, a light ping, and you don't really hear it. So um, I'll show you kind of what I've done here to add to that. So I'm going to click on complete. That will go to history. We can have Cortana open it up for us, too. Hey, Cortana, open scheduled task. So this is going to open up the Windows Task Scheduler. Okay, schedule tasks. So here's some reminders I've already set up. Uh, good morning. So this basically is going to read a verbal wake-up call for breakfast. Uh, it's going to read this file in the C drive, uh, C voice. And then I have it reading these text files. So gm.txt, good morning, Marcelina, it's time to go to breakfast. And then for lunch, hello, Marcelina, getting hungry, it's time for lunch. You can change these at any time and it'll just update and read. Good evening, Marcelina, it's time to head down to dinner. So those are kind of cool little quick voice reminders. But what I've had it done is I've had it set up so this will run 30 seconds prior to the Cortana event. So if I click on that, Oh, something else I saw too, this is pretty important. Uh, I was testing it and I took it off power. Um, uncheck this, start the task only if the computer's on AC power. So if, if it, this isn't checked and it's running off of AC, if it's running on battery, it won't run. So no matter what you want it to run, so uncheck that box, that's a good one too. So I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, click this and choose run and let you hear it. Time to go to breakfast. And that's it. You can see it still says running. So I've also added a condition or a task in here to have it kill it so it won't, uh, these kind of DOS programs tend to do that kind of thing. So if I go to here and I go to properties under, uh, I think it was conditions, I'm sorry, settings. You want to stop it after an hour, so then it'll stop itself, so then it won't interfere with the next time it runs. 
and that's it. So basically to set one of those up, it was pretty easy. I just clicked on create a basic task and then I told it what I want to do. So we'll kind of recreate the uh, breakfast. We'll call it breakfast this time instead of good morning. So B-R-E-A-K-F-A-S-T, uh, verbal breakfast announcement. When you want to do it, I want to do it daily. When you want to start, so like I said, I set this 30 seconds prior to my event. So if I have one going on at 106 or 107, I would set this to 106 and 30 seconds. So then it's going to go ahead and do that uh, 30 seconds prior. It's a very quick message. Uh, start a program. I'm going to browse to voice.exe. There it is in my C voice folder. The command line parameter for having it read a file was minus K, and you can catch all that on his website. And then the name of the, the file, so I'm gonna say gm.txt. Start in, um, just because I've worked with DOS in the past, I always put a start in, and that's where this file is located. So C colon backslash voice, next, and finish, that's it. So now what you would wanna do is go back and edit that, so then you have it turn off after an hour and check off the run uh, only on power right here. So start task only if the computer is on AC power, uncheck that. And settings, we want to have it stop the task if it runs longer than one hour. Okay, and then to run it, you just click here and run and it should give you a test and you should hear it go again. And that's all there is. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete that task and that's it. I hope that helps you. Um, good luck.